Good morning, good morning. What's going on? What's happening? So real quick guys, I am actually here at Banks. I have to do a little upgrade. I got my man Jay What's here. What's happening? <laughs> hey world. World. <laughs> so uh, real quick, what are we doing? We are installing a Banks pedal monster on your 20 Ram. So this is a, uh, a throttle booster and it's gonna change the way this truck gets out of the hole. Got it. And now the big difference between a lot of people who are probably gonna ask is what's the big difference between Pedal Commander and you guys. Uh, I've had my own personal experience with Pedal Commander that weren't the greatest and I can say that because I'm not with a company, but uh, what's the big difference with your guys' brand or your product compared to the, one, uh, the rest sure. of the ones that are Come out there? Come on over here for a second. Cool. So first things first, let me get this out of the way here. All right, so to show you guys how this is different than say like a pedal commander, first we have to unbox it. I gotta show you the contents. Then it will all become apparent. If I can open this. So first things first, you have your module. All right, you'd expect a module. Then inside the foam right here, that's the guy right here. So this is the part that is common with all the throttle boosters right here the part that intercepts the pedal plug. But here's where it's different. So let's say you had a pedal commander. This is all you would get. You would power this module by tapping into the pedal plug, which is above your big toe, right? So the throttle plug. And let's say this is powered by five volts, okay? It would pull that five volts from the pedal circuit. Well, the problem is your Ram truck, your FCA, your ECU in here, uh, FCA products, so like uh, the Challenger, or the Charger, et cetera, they only have a 35 uh, milliamp overhead on that pedal plug. So if you connect some other module and try to power it off that pedal plug, it will freak out the ECM on the truck or the car and say, it'll tell the ECM, hey, there's something wrong with the pedal and it will disable your pedal. And it's, you might as well just take the pedal and throw it out your window. Like, it sends you into limp mode, not just limp mode. Sometimes limp mode on these big trucks, you still have a little bit of throttle, but when the pedal, when it thinks the pedal's dead, it disconnects the pedal altogether. So you have nothing. So what we do, where do we get power? If we're not taking power through here, where do we get it? OBD. So this guy right here plugs into the top of the pedal monster and we pull a safe 12 volt power supply from OBD. And you could power like a light bulb off this thing. It's got a lot of overhead in your OBD connection, which is just under here. This also allows us to know what gear you're in, how fast you're going, when it's in reverse. So we return you to stock throttle sensitivity in reverse. You're pulling your fifth wheel, you know, you're backing up. You don't want to haul ass in reverse, right? When you're, you don't want the China flying off, you're out of your cupboards in your fifth wheel in reverse you want it to go back to stock throttle sensitivity. So we're able to do that because we're on the OBD port and we know all this information that the other guys don't know because all they know is that they're connected to a pedal. They don't know what kind of vehicle it's in. They don't know how fast it should be going or not. It, so we open up a whole new world with the pedal monster. So let's install it. So the first thing we're going to do, step one is tapping this into or intercepting the factory pedal. So all we're gonna do is on the top of the factory pedal, there's a plug. We're going to disconnect it. We're going to tap, plug one side of the pedal monster, plug into your factory pedal. And the other side will go into the harness that goes back to your ECM. And then those signals from your pedal will then just simply run through the pedal monster and back out. Now, if there's ever an issue with the pedal monster, it has a relay in it, which you'll listen to later. You can hear when it flips on and off. If this ever loses power, something happens, it bypasses itself and sends those signals right through it without being affected. And just worst case scenario is you're just stock. Big deal, you keep driving. All right, so let's plug it in. I can barely see in here. <laughs> It's way up top, but they, they moved the, um, the heater vent. There we go. Probably gonna be boring video right here. No, you're fine. 
So while, while he's putting that in, one of the things that a lot of people are going to ask is warranty, that kind of stuff. Listen, this doesn't touch your ECU. It doesn't mess with your ECU. You're not uploading any tune to your ECU. This is simply just interfering the connection between uh, the pedal, um, which is very important. So if you do need to go to the dealer, you can pull it out, but there's not going to be any signs of it uh, in your ECU and the memory or anything like that. Yeah, that's correct. The ECM does not know it's being uh, fooled. There you go. Um, so yeah, very cool product. Uh, definitely one of, one of the things that with this RAM that I've had issues with is it's very laggy. Um, and with this pedal monster, um, that helps get rid of it. Um, at least improve the sensitivity of the throttle so that you're not having to go all the way to the floor just to uh, change lanes or even get on the freeway. So definitely looking forward to seeing how this thing works. All right. All right, so that part's done. Pedal monster is now connected to the plug itself. Sorry, the pedal itself. I'm gonna get out the handy dandy adapter cable. Now this pedal monster is designed to either be used as a standalone with an iPhone, which you're gonna do. You have iPhone or Android? Yeah, iPhone. You got an iPhone. So you'll use the, uh, the iPhone at first, but I have a feeling we're gonna upgrade you to the iDash, which is a cool little uh, two and a 16th round gauge, which we can either put in your pillar or a suction mount. So right now though, we're gonna have this operate. You'll control it just with your iPhone. Connect this guy here. Whoops. All right, so we are going to jump onto the App Store. We're going to do one word pedal monster. And there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and say get. Do my little face ID. Now it's uploading. So we'll circle back once, uh, once it's uploaded. All right, so the app is uploaded. We are now going to get the vehicle onto accessory mode. Yeah, I'm just good. All right. We're just going to give power. All right, so then... let's uh, go ahead and... I need to steal a uh, one of these uh, zip ties right here that allow us to use the pointy end to depress the pairing button on the back, which I forgot. Do that real quick. Here the, there's a pairing button on the back right here, which we're just gonna use the pointy end right here. Okay. Push the, uh, the pairing button. And then the orange LED is gonna be blank and then I'm the, just gonna hit exactly confirm. Exactly, right. Device has been paired. Right, there you go. Now it's time for you to hop in here and calibrate. So you need to hop up into the cab okay. and it's gonna ask you to push your foot to the floor twice. All right. I'll move the so cables. we're gonna say, begin calibration. It says, depress your pedal. And that's the gas pedal, correct? That's correct. It's a wide open throttle. Yep, and do it one more time. Okay. And you are calibrated. How easy that was. Get started. And then it's going to tell you, so we're gonna select the vehicle which is a Ram 6.7 liter, uh, oops, the 2018 and newer, and newer correct. Okay. That guy right there. It's an automatic yeah. transmission. That's correct. So we're gonna hit submit. And we can register later. Okay. Now, if you push your pedal to the floor, you'll see, go ahead and push your pedal. That is your stock pedal, your commanded uh, pedal right here. And then if we go into city mode, right push again, you'll see that bring it about half half pedal. And as I let go of your pedal, I'm gonna show you the offset. So push it about halfway. So there's what you're commanding. There's what Banks is altering right here. Wow, okay. So, and then you let off the pedal. We go into whoop, like all the way to track mode. There it is, go all the way up. Now see the difference, push about halfway. You see the difference oh, between wow. your foot and what's being commanded? <laughs> you will feel that. That's crazy. Exactly. Now, what do people mostly run on? They usually just run between city and sport? Yeah, most people are in like high city, somewhere on, on the Rams or in high city or, or in sport towards the bottom, like level two. Now, all of these maps are different. So meaning what we're doing is 
um, it's not just power levels and sensitivity that's going up one through 10 on each level. Each of these actually has a unique map. Think of this, your pedal is like an old school stereo knob, you know, on a home stereo. Let's say that zero is zero and 100 is 100, okay? But we're able to put zero through 80, maybe down lower and then, the, and then uh, 80 through 100 at the very top, meaning we're able to move the scale around depending on what mode. So it's not always linear. So in the track mode, for example, we're able to give you, whoops, oh, we're gonna update the app. Good, let's, let's let it do that. Okay. Um, we're able to give you a lot more sensitivity down low, like in the first 40% of the throttle, which is where and then spread the exactly then spread it out throughout. So we're able and we're able to change this um, through firmware. So because it's controlled through your your uh, iPhone, we're always changing the maps uh, where we're listening to feedback. Um, and depending on different vehicles, we can change the map dependent on vehicle, which the other guys can't do. It's a fixed calibration. This is infinitely variable depending on the vehicle. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And now most. What are the primary vehicles that are, are running this, or is it just a wide variety of? So I just installed one on a 2020 Corvette. Um, we had one, a guy had amazing results in a 6.2 liter naturally aspirated GMC Sierra, mm. an 18. Uh, we have them running on Jeep Gladiators. Sorry for the trash truck behind us here. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna let him in, hold on. So here's the, the test. I'm going to disconnect the power and let's see if you still have a throttle. This is where it gets its power, right? Let's keep an eye on these uh, on these lights down here, right? They're blinking green. This one again, the left is it senses that the truck is on and it's communicating with the vehicle. The right one is your Bluetooth on your iPhone. Right now I'm going to yank power. Power's gone. LEDs are gone. Uh oh, is the truck dead? Nope. Still got your throttle. It's the only module that does that. All right, so we'll make a, uh, a left on the main street out here and I'll take you to our test track. A test track. <laughs> you like how all YouTubers are like, oh, we went down to Mexico down to test Mexico. this. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you, you think uh, a highway patrol doesn't see the green signs? Think, yeah. Southern California, all the blue street signs. We'll make a left out of here. Okay. And then we're going to make a left uh, just past that black truck. Okay. Correct. And then we'll go halfway down this street and we'll pull right. And it's about a eighth mile stretch. Okay. Yep. Just this to not move as much. And this street that yeah, goes we right, can correct we'll it. turn right and then we'll stop and we'll change levels. Turn right right here? Yep, turn right okay. right here. We'll stop and we'll change levels. Okay. Yeah, we just pull over right here. Basically, we just down this street. You get to the end and we do a, a turn around at the end and make, make laps. All right, let me do this real fast. Make this more yeah. sturdy. Almost need a suction mount. I know. Skosh has one, I just haven't installed it yet. That should be good. All right. So now, should I go to city? Let's go city. Let's try midway up city. Tell okay. me what you think. So you'll go to like city level five. So there's 10 levels sensitivity settings per um, environment. Okay. City sport and track will go to uh, For city halfway. City halfway. Five. Right. Okay. Tell me what you think of that. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. That's just city. And I get into the throttle a little bit. Okay. Get over this. Oh yeah. So you get into the that's boost wild. quite a bit faster. That is a night and day difference. And can you change these on the fly? You can. You just need to be stopped so we can turn Got around it. here if you want to go in the parking lot or right here. Yeah. Or we can make another well, right out here. Make sure. Right. Or at the stop so sign. So it's using the GPS in your phone to know speed. 
as okay. far as the Apple dictates that we can't change levels while you're moving. We tried that and Apple said, no, no, no. Okay. So yeah, you do have to be a stop. So since we're at a stop, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it into sport. Do it. And halfway on sport. Go for it. Let's see what. Uh, yeah, it's a, you can immediately <laughs> tell. That's amazing. That's amazing. Now, a lot of people, one of the biggest quirks with some of these pedal, commander, pedal, monster, the all these kind throttle of Throttle boosters, is right. The yeah, throttle boosters is people think that it is just, it's mental. Like you don't really, uh, it, you think it's happening, but it really isn't. But the truth is you can tell in this truck because one, it's, it's turboed and you can hear the spool of turbo actually engage, you know, it's spooling up way faster and you can feel it. You can feel the 800 foot pounds of torque that this truck has. Definitely. It's not a tuner. We don't say it's a tuner. Yeah. You're not changing the fuel mapping. You're not changing. What you're doing is we are adjusting the, the pedal position relative to the ECM. Okay. So in many vehicles, they'll have throttle enrichment delay, yep. which means that they are purposely softening the pedal to give you better fuel economy. Mm. If the pedal is more sluggish, taking a Honda or a Kia, right, where you have economy mode, yep. those type of things, they're just making the pedal a wet, giving you a wet sponge, right? If it takes longer to, acceleration takes fuel. Yes. So um, you, one of the consequences of this device, you might burn a little more fuel, yeah. but again, that's worth it for most people to have the acceleration they want. Well, and that's the biggest that's the biggest issue that that I have with this truck. I mean, I have a 2020 F350 for work and it has so much torque and immediate torque, it's insane. Whereas when I get into this truck, it has a significant delay in it where it you almost have to go full throttle to the floor for it to even want to engage and be able to get on the freeway and that, right. it kind of just gets annoying. Right. I mean, big displacement six cylinder, you know. This is a uh, Yeah. The Cummins has been around for a long time, but it's a slow, lumbrous engine with yep. a lot of power. It's the reason that so many generators, you know, that sat, sit out in a cornfield or Cummins engines, mm -hmm. they're just made to go at a certain RPM, have big torque forever, right? They'll run for millions of hours, uh, but they're not fast to react, just yeah. the way that engine is designed. Yeah. So we're helping that a little bit. So you're welcome to try track. I'm gonna try think. track. All right. Should I should I not do five on track? Uh, try it. What the hell? Okay. All yeah. Right. See what happens. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. So <laughs> I'm telling you this right now. If you own a Ram, just come and you live by me. I'll give you a ride in this just so you can see the difference because it is it is bet even between the city sport and track you can feel the change in every different map scenario, if, if you want to call it that. Now, where I like it the best, which we haven't done, is on the highway. So let's say you're, uh, you're following, uh, you, you come off the throttle, traffic slows down, but then you know how traffic immediately starts back up again. As you dive back into the throttle, so often there's nothing there, yes. right? There's that dead spot, that dead pedal that we talk about. This is, I don't <laughs> even know if I want to take it out of track. That's unreal. Yeah, but dead pedal. That happens so, so, all the time. And it'll happen right here. So we're approaching a green light. You're going to slow down and typically getting out, for turning the right-hand corner here, mm -hmm. this is where you'd have dead pedal. Yes. There's just not much here. Well, the pedal monster That's... completely closes that gap. No more dead pedal. None. That is wild. <laughs> Initial first thoughts. It is not uh, something that you can definitely tell that there is a lot more response. Um, I forget what effect that people always call it. Placebo. Placebo effect. It's not a placebo effect because which e with each map, you know, whether it's stock, uh, track, uh, or even sport, um, even though I just named them in the wrong order. City sport track. City sport track. <laughs> um, each one is so different and it is night and day where I mean, I almost want to say don't put it in track because then you're going to want to keep it in track all the time because this thing hauls ass. Um, is that a common, that's probably the most common response with people is that they they don't expect the amount of change that actually comes with one of these units. Yeah, so for example, we had a guy uh, come by about two weeks ago with a an old Hummer uh, with a 6.2 liter naturally aspirated engine mm. in it. And it had a tune, it had an intake, sounded great, but he was going to sell it. 
He came here saying, if this doesn't help, I'm going to sell it because I can't take it anymore. It's got a big engine that just feels lumbrous. And we put it in and he literally, we got out and he shook my hand and said, thank you, I'm keeping the truck. Oh yeah. We and, were just... and it was like that different because as, as, you know, as humans, for whatever reason, we're not comfortable riding with our foot on the floor the whole time, full throttle, pushing it to the, to the, to the carpet. Right? That's not how you want to drive. It's just uncomfortable. You shouldn't have to do that. So again, with these different maps, we can give you all that control anywhere in the pedal you want it for your car. Mm -hmm. So if you came to me with a Charger, right, or a, a Challenger or a Mustang or a Corvette or a Ford Ranger, you're going to find the happy place in that pedal for that vehicle. Mm -hmm. So if I give you another one and you went home and put it on your buddy's Jeep, like a gladiator with a diesel, that's gonna, he might find his happy place in city eight. You might like track two for this, you know, for the Ram. Mm -hmm. So everything is different and that that's that part is magical. Yeah, it's everyone's just trying to find their happy spot. And we were just having the conversation while I was swapping the battery on this is one of the things, like I have a 2020 F350 Fork. One of the things that I loved about that truck is that one, it's got about 400 foot pounds more torque than this does, but it is responsive. And whether I think that you know has to play into the 10 speed, uh, different gear ratio, uh, it is very fast. Um, and then you got to get into this, and it's a slug. It doesn't. You have to at least go half throttle or more to get it to want to go. And it, some days that's you know disheartening fl flipping between the two. And of all the efforts that Ram has put into this truck to make it such a beautiful interior truck and exterior truck. It's just one of those things that I think is always held, kind of held it back. That's why you see guys yeah. deleting these things. It's disheartening. But right. now and it's not. You don't need to, you're gonna spend six or eight grand removing the emissions equipment, making the thing impossible to sell in California or any of the other 17 states that follow emissions laws, you know, mm -hmm. carbs emissions rules. Um, you don't have to. You can have the performance that you want for 300 bucks. Exactly. You know, honestly. $300. And, yeah. Like th that, this is worth its weight and gold. And I've, I, and you guys know, I've supercharged most of my vehicles. This right here is a very similar effect or very similar feeling in the change of it from stock to this, that you, you feel that immediate response. And it's, yeah, I love I, this. I, I like the truck again. So. It's so it's so silly. It feels like it's odd to say that for three hundred dollars, it's the biggest change you can put. I mean, you, aesthetically, you go on, you buy a new truck, and you put wheels and tires on, and it's immediate. The moment it pulls off the lift at the shop, you go, "Wow, that's a new truck." Mm -hmm. You don't expect that you could put something on your throttle pedal that would have that same effect, that emotional mm -hmm. effect, and go, "Oh my God, that's it's a different truck now," Entirely. but it is. Entirely. All right, well, let's right. dive into the next one. All right, so now what are we installing? Uh, we are just uh, putting the mount together. So this is going to be a little uh, gauge pod mount that'll go on the inside of the windshield like this. And then we are going to put in our iDash Data Monster. So this is a two and a 16th round gauge, uh, 52 millimeter. So for you guys that are hot rodders or anyone that's had an old school boost gauge, same size as every other gauge that's on the market. The difference is this guy is going to display over a hundred parameters from the ECM of this truck right here, and it will control our pedal monster. Stay tuned. All right, so now we have it pretty much set up. What we've done is we've ran the wires to the top portion of the pod. Right, right so you've got the, uh, the I-dash right here. So we have one side is going to go to the OBD port, right? And the other side is going to be an extension cable that goes down to your pedal monster. So everything all banks equipment is on the banks bus network it's our own version of the can right uh, can network that's in your vehicle so we only need one point of connection to obd and all the banks modules will share that one point of connection over the obd so the i dash uh, will then be the single point of connection of um, and it will control and monitor all the other banks modules including the pedal monster derringer speed brake all those things wow very cool. All right. All right. Let's get this installed. All right. Welcome back to the uh, the program yeah. here. <laughs> so what we've done is we've left the pedal monster where it is, uh, and we've run an extension cable that's supplied in the uh, I dash kit, and that goes up to this I dash here. This is the I dash 1.8. This is the super gauge right here, and uh, not sure we're shooting into the sun right now, so I'm not sure how hard. hard. Yep. You I wanna... can get some B roll of it. 
Okay. Uh, tonight. But basically, so it's plugged into the OBD2 down here. It's correct. Runs up here through the side, right, and goes up here, and then also makes a loop back down and goes to the pedal monster. So again, all the bank's equipment shares one OBD connection. So on this, uh, on the iDash, we now have uh, our gauge set up here where you're going to control the sensitivity of the pedal monster and you can have, uh, I've got right now RPM, boost pressure, your death level percent. This can is infinitely configurable. You've got 150 parameters to choose from that you can see here. Um, you can set up up to five custom pages on the iDash. Each page can show from two parameters to eight. All right, so what we're looking at is the iDash Super Gauge here. So right now, this is the pedal monster on the left-hand side, and then we have three configurable gauges on the right side. These can be anything you want. Right now, we have RPM, boost, and your def level percent in your tank here. Uh, but again, these can be anything you want from ECT, coolant temp, to oil temp, <clears throat> uh, uh, your DPF uh, soot level, all these things. Uh, but on the left-hand side is our city mode. If we go down right here, we go to stock. Now we'll go back up here city keep going keep going up 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 now we're in sport keep going up 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 and now we're in track mode so this is how you're going to control your pedal monster on the fly right here just like this and we'll go down into city boom and then you'll see the level bounce and you'll see um when it's under load uh, you'll see the uh, your actual pedal and then what pedal monster is commanding on the right red bar graph over there same thing it's a similar setup on the iphone so if you adjust on your iPhone, let's take your iPhone out for a sec. Okay. It's kind of a trip. Good. Yep. Go ahead and adjust levels on the app. Okay, so let's go to sport. There you go, sport. Wow, go to <laughs> track. Track. There you go. <laughs> wow. It, yeah, it's controlling it through the uh, the Bluetooth uh, chip in the pedal monsters, communicating through the Banks Plus network to the iDash. So it's all working harmoniously, as they say. Awesome. So this will allow you to uh, monitor everything here. Now I'm going to show you a couple other things. If we hold this back button down for two seconds, it's going to flip to page two. Whoa, totally different setup. All these can be configured any way you want. So you can change the color of the bar graphs, you can change the numbers, the, uh, the, the inlays back here. Everything can be configured. And we can go to page three, green, page four, and back to it. So again, these can be five custom pages of anything you want, obviously. Wacky white over here, and we'll go here. So what I like to do is set up each of these pages, color code them. So one maybe is, uh, uh, this first one is blue, that's all pedal monster. Maybe make uh, your air temps, uh, uh, exhaust temps, all that maybe green or red. And so at, you don't even have to pay attention to the gauge. You just reach up, push this down, and out of the corner of your eye, you'll see everything turn color. You'll know you're on the right screen. Awesome. That's a personal preference. You can set it up any way you like. That makes a lot of sense. So that is the iDash. Now this will this is pulling all the data from your ECM in real time. And in many cases, this will show you information that your gauge, sorry, your dashboard doesn't show. Mm -hmm. That maybe FCA RAM doesn't want you to see. Mm -hmm. So we have a whole suite of manifold air density parameters that are patented. So manifold air density, if you watch any of Gail Banks' videos, speaks directly to horsepower. And by the way, you can also see calculated horsepower and torque on this gauge wow. as well. Wow. So that is being pulled from your ECM. Um, and uh, we do all the calculations hidden in the background. You can set up minimums and maximums on this gauge. So for example, let's say you say, I don't want to get over 225 trans temp. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can set a flag and it will pop an alert, right? A big amber alert right on here on the, on the front of the gauge and alerting you that it's over whatever temp you decided to set it to. You can also set low coolant, maybe pressure, or uh, I'm sorry, oil pressure or temp or something. Um, all these things can be set on the back end by you. Beautiful. That's so, awesome. Yeah, you can go into menus and say diagnostics. We can go into diagnostics. We can read and clear vehicle codes right here. You can even check emissions readiness. It'll let you know if you can pass the smog check in California. Right, um, you can uh, clear codes on any of the base bus devices. Here's your alerts, your mins and maxes. You've got a shift light now, yours is not stick, but if you were in a Porsche and a stick shift, you can set it to different RPMs to tell you when to shift. Wow, 
right? Uh, these are Binks modules, uh, settings, tells you your system information, your firmware updates, uh, and your gauge selection right here is where you, go, you can go in and say, swap out your RPM boost or def level for any other parameter you wanna choose. So category, air density, diagnostics, pressure, speed and velocity, temps, transmission, voltage, performance, pedal monster, on and on and on. Each one's got like 50 parameters to choose from. So wow. very uh, user friendly <laughs> to what, what people want themselves. Exactly. Awesome. I could talk about it all day, but I'd bore everyone watching. <laughs> it's all good. Well, I really appreciate it. Uh, and I'm looking forward to using this thing. So give it a whirl. Yeah. Enjoy. I think yeah. you're going to have fun with it. And I know the pedal monster makes it come alive. So oh, definitely. A, it's a great combo. Definitely. Jay, okay. I appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks for stopping so by. And that's it. We are. Uh... Hold on one second. Hey. Hey. Okay, you don't. All right, sounds good. I'm grabbing it for you right now. Where are you going to be at? Where are you at? Uh, I'm out here in Azusa. I got to go back to Lake Elsinore to go to Carly. Uh, all right, well, I'll call you on closer to the state border. We're in Phoenix right now, so. Yeah, give me a call. Yeah, I'll be in Redlands, but then I'll be head towards. I'll be heading north uh, tomorrow. Okay. Cool. Right, I'll call you when I'm closer. Sounds good. Yeah, bye. All right, bye. I'm selling pedal monsters here. Um. Anyways, uh, yeah. So got all this installed. Super stoked uh, to be working with Banks. Uh, super notorious for uh, their quality and service and, and performance products. And if you guys have any questions, obviously head over to their to their Instagram, which is right here, um, or go to their website uh, to get more information. But I'll be uh, doing some updates uh, as I get used to this thing. And uh, yeah, as you probably just heard, uh, I'm going to Carly now. So check in with you guys later.